Hello. Today we're going to continue with 4.3 with the date. Wednesday, May 6. Note number two, to use the formula D equals S times T, we need to know that D is equal to distance, S is equal to speed, and T is equal to time. We also know that distance is in meters, or kilometers, okay? Speed, that's in kilometers per hour or meters per second. We know the time. It can be in seconds or it could be in hours. Maybe even minutes. We use the units to help us decide if we've got distance, speed, or time. Example 2. Given the formula D equals ST, it's important to know that ST is times where S is multiplied to T. Find the speed, okay, so find the speed, so that's the S, of a car when it travels 85 kilometers, in order to travel a place or a location, it has to be in distance, right? So we know that this is distance. So distance is what you travel. Your distance traveled is 85 kilometers. In 2.5 H, we know that's hours. So we know that together that must be time using the guess method. So we know that guess, don't need the last one, G-U-E-S-S. -S. Okay, example two. All right, so what's been given? Well, we were given the formula. We were given D equals S-T. It says find, find the speed, find the speed. So S is finding the speed, okay? So they don't give us the speed, they're asking us to find the speed. So we could actually put the unknown here right away. The unknown is find speed, okay? So we know that that is, is S. Okay, so we're looking for S. When it travels, 85 kilometers. So we've said that traveling is your distance. So we know that the distance traveled is 85 kilometers. So we are given the distance is 85 kilometers. But we also know that distance is the same as D. In 2.5 hours. So we say 2.5 hours is the same as time, which we know as t. That's important because t is what we have in the formula, and so do we have d. It says using the guess method. The U, the unknown, is to find the speed, which we are calling S. So the first letter in this word is S. It represents S in this equation, okay? So the equation is we're gonna use D equals ST. So we know that we're using this formula because they're giving us this formula. 
We also know that we're using the formula because we've been given the units for kilometers, which is distance, hours, which is time, and speed, which is what we're being asked for. So if we put all the information together, we know that they all match part of the equation d equals s times t. The solution. We're going to take what's been given, the unknown and the equation, into this solution space. So we're going to use d equals s times t, and we're going to sub in the distance. So our distance is 85 kilometers. Distance is 85 kilometers. We know that time, t, is 2.5, 2.5 hours. I sometimes put an r at the end of hours. I don't think your textbook does that. I think you just have an h for hours. These units tell me that kilometers, okay, because we understand that kilometers is distance, that this number, 85, should be equal to distance because we measure distance in kilometers. Hours, this unit, tells me that this number, 2.5, should be equal to time because we measure time in hours. I sub this in. I sub in my distance of 85 below the D. Equals is below equals. The S, in this case, is what I'm finding. I rewrite it. Times T, which is 2.5. Notice I don't write the units anymore once I put it into the equation. Now I have to find what S is. So to solve for S, because S isn't alone, right? It's with the times 2.5. To solve S, okay, use SAMDEB. And, and I put it up top here, and opposite operations. So perhaps when I saw that I was being asked for S and I realized that I was using this equation, I could have circled the S and I could have said, oh, by the way, if S is with some other letter, I have to decide to find S by using SAMDEB and opposite operations, okay? Because it's not alone. S is not alone. It's with the, the T. Okay. If we're solving for S, we have to understand that S is not alone, so we have to do the opposite. So remember how S is on S is on right side. That means therefore that the left side has no S's. We're getting pretty squished here. So, no S on left side. Maybe I'll give myself a little more room next time. Okay, so moving left to right, 85 is no S. There's no S there. So it can stay on the left side because it's following this rule. And remember, Wherever the variable is, we're going to decide to leave it where it is. So on the right side of the equal, is S on the right side? Yes, that's our rule, okay? So S is on the right side. But 2.5, it's on the right side and it's not an S. So we have to take the operation of multiplying by 2.5, and I have to do the opposite, which is divide by 2.5. So I divide once on the left side, and I divide once on the right side. So 85, 85 divided by 2.5 is equal to 34. Equals, these cancel each other out because 2.5 divided by itself, if I didn't know that, I could type it in, is 1, okay? So S times 1 is just S. So S, that is our answer. So in our sentence, therefore, because we're asked for the speed, therefore, the speed 
is 34, and then we look at the units. What did we look at? We were having to go kilometers per hour. So we go kilometers per hour, and then we're done. Let's try the next one. Given the formula D equals ST, so we understand that S and T are multiplied, find how long, okay, so how long, finding how long, that's time, okay? How long does it take? That's time. It takes a car to travel. Traveling is distance, so distance, distance is 200 kilometers. We know kilometers is measuring distance. So 200 kilometers is the distance, and we know that D is representing distance at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour using the guess method. Well, we know that speed, speed is 80 kilometers, so S is representing speed because it's the first letter of the word speed. So when we use the guess method, got an extra space there again, given, unknown. Okay, so uh, what's been given? Well, we've been given the formula D equals S T. We understand that there's a times there whenever the letters are up against each other. Find, find how long. Okay, so that's the unknown, right? Find time. So the unknown here, find time. Well, time is the capital T, so we're finding time, right? So we could go back up here if we wanted to, and we could circle that and say we've got to find time. Now notice that the time is with the S, okay? When that happens, time is not by itself. It's multiplied to the S. So because of that, to solve for T, use... SAMDEV and opposite operations. Okay, so I can see that because T is not on its own. Let's go back. Find how long it takes. Okay, so how long is the unknown to travel 200 kilometers? So that's distance. So they also give us distance is equal to 200 kilometers, okay? So distance is 200 kilometers. D for distance is the first letter of that word. At a speed, speed begins with S, so S is 80 kilometers. So speed is 80 kilometers per hour, and speed, okay, is S. and then using the guess method finishes off the sentence. Okay, so the equation, well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna use that formula, D equals S times T, okay? And we've already been asked to solve for T. T is not on its own, it's with this letter S. So to solve for T, use SAMDEB and opposite operations, okay? Solution, take what's been given, the unknown, and the equation. So the uh, solution here, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room. I'm gonna use D equals S times T, okay? And I'm going to use SAMDEV and opposite operations. And opposite operations. So I can see what I'm doing here is I'm taking what was the equation. I'm writing it in my solution space. Okay, it's my solution. Using the equation, and I'm telling myself if I'm using this equation to solve for t, I have to use SAMDEB and opposite operations. So there's my SAMDEB and my reminder of opposite operations. Okay, so the opposite operations is addition 
is opposite subtraction, right? Subtraction is opposite of addition. Multiplication is opposite division. And division is opposite multiplication. All right, what else do we have? Distance D is 200, so we're going to sub in a D value of 200 kilometers and the speed S is 80 kilometers per hour. Speed is 80 kilometers per hour and I can check is distance measured in kilometers? Yes, distance is measured using kilometers. Is speed measured using kilometers per hour? Yes, that's a unit that measures speed. Kilometers is used to measure distance. So the unit that is used tells me if I've got the right variable matched to it. Sub it in. Distance is now becoming 200. Speed is 80 times t. Okay, I'm solving for t. Okay, so to the right is where t is. So t is on the right side. Okay, to the left then is no t. It's the opposite, right? So if t is on the right side, there's no t on left side, right? All right, so moving left to right, does 200 obey this rule? No T on left side. It does because there 200 is just 200. There's no T there, okay? So it follows that rule. Uh, moving onward to the right, 80. Does 80 follow the rule? T is on the right side. Well, 80 is not a T. It's being multiplied to the T, so we have to move the 80, okay, over but it's being multiplied. So we go next to the M, because that may, makes us think of multiplication, which it is, okay? They're multiplying by 80, so we have to do the opposite, which we've said is division. So we have to divide by 80, okay? We divide by 80 on the left side and divide 80 on the right side. So 200 divided by 80, is 2.5 okay and 80 divided by 80 is 1 you don't have to write the 1 there it cancels itself out t so that's the answer and then the s the sentence therefore the time it takes is 2.5 and we can look at the units, kilometers per hour. It's based on the units that were used. Kilometers per hour. So you're going to try questions that are using the D equals S times T. Using the formula to do number two.